I'm here with Matthew Norton, Vice President at Venrock. And Matthew, tell me a little bit about yourself and, and why you're involved in the festival this weekend. I'm here because I think that there's no future route forward for my children and their children to have a meaningful existence without some radical science and technology innovation when it comes to meeting energy and environmental challenges and anything I can do to help inspire kids to pursue careers in science that have kind of a high activation energy compared with being a lawyer or a hedge fund guy, I'd love for them to do that. What do you think it is, what, what causes brought about the fact that students aren't choosing engineering as professions? As a society, I think we get what we celebrate. And if we celebrate actors and musicians and whomever else, you know, we will get more reality television stars. Uh, but we have untold stories that we're not choosing to celebrate. If you do the math at your lifetime outcome in millions of dollars, from being an NFL player, you add up the probabilities that you'll uh, be able to get into college ball, then go pro, then how much you'll make over four years, you actually do better getting a PhD in an area you can do a startup company in. And telling those stories, that's what I think kids need to hear. What got you interested in pursuing technical fields and, and getting involved? Well, it's interesting. When I was uh, you know, a kid, even when I was in college, for most of the time, I thought that a science career was extremely limited. That I sort of had two choices. On one hand, I would be in a dingy university lab for an undergrad degree and a PhD and a postdoc and whatever followed, and I'd never leave. I would have better relationships with my instrumentation than with human beings. Um, or that I would be in some nameless corporate laboratory as drone number 4080 titrating Pepsi. Um, and what I didn't see at the time was that could have a practical application. It wasn't really until I graduated college and became aware of the world where science and business meet uh, in startup companies and entrepreneurship that I realized, wow, this is a really good career option that a lot of people do, and I'm smart enough and good enough. Um, again, I think it's making others aware of this option in life that just isn't celebrated that's the, the missing ingredient. Any advice there that you might have for students? Well, it's funny. I think the biggest thing is to see that you can do it. Um, you know, half of success in life is showing up, right? And in these careers, a lot of people don't show up because they assume it's not their thing. I want to thank Matthew Norton for his time. You can check out more great interviews from during the weekend at engineering.com.